a um bad omen here today. <coughs> today we'll be doing a Warhammer project. Like uh 40k um D D Grim Dark. Basically tabletop game terrain. So today we'll be making a some cargo containers out of these these square things these cuboid boxes tubs thing and some sprues and you'll need clips snips what do you call these snips clippers or whatever Um, so, start off, I've never made these before, so, should probably put that in mind that these might look terrible. So yeah, you probably want to measure the sprue next to it, and then, just for the height, and then cut it out roughly. Um, a lot of time you get these little pokey bits. Now, some of these um, are completely useless. Some of them fly halfway across, across your room. Some of them are quite useful, like these ones. Because you can cut them off. Try and save them before they go flying across your room. And then you can, um, so you got a pretty good um, shape, just a edgy, jagged shape. You can like cut it a bit and you have a pretty good rock for like basing and stuff and it doesn't really need painting you could just put some agrax or a shade on it and it's done so i like to save these as much as possible yeah and on some of those bits they leave behind a couple um, marks. I would cut them off, but I, well, I would just chop them off with like a knife or something, but I don't have a knife, so I just make do with what I have and use my spook, my spook, screw cutters. Now, can, oh yeah, I will be using that one. Um, because I'm not going to make two this episode. Well, this episode. Like, never on this channel. Um, yeah, stick that. Can maybe cut it down to size a bit. Um, yeah, and line it up next to that, on the edge, and that looks like some good framework, so I'll get out a bit of glue, um, I don't have a clue what glue this is, but it says poly cement. And it's made by Hornby, H-O-R-N-B-Y, Hornby, I don't know. It's quite cool, it's decent glue. Recommend it to you. If not, just use Citadel plastic glue. 
or something like that. Um, these can actually be used for storing minis since you can take off the lid. So you have to try your best not to glue that if you want that functionality. So you can, or you can use it in battle to like store people inside. I don't know whether that's actually legal in game. But I would just say that that's like deep striking, I guess. Yeah, we stick on the framework. So that's one frame down with the lid still functional. That is great. Um, if you if it's if the glue hasn't dried yet, then you could knock it while trying to take off the lid. So you just gotta be careful on that part. Um, just trying this to see whether it's tall enough, and it's probably not. So I'll just cut off a new piece. Is that's not even tall enough, great. Um, this is like the same size as this. No, this is taller. I'll oh, just use this. Just got a, a lot of bits to cut off. Which can be used for rocks. Because of lots of the jagged shapes and stuff. Although these ones are a little bit more useless. Let's try removing this rounded edge. Yeah, if any of you want more videos like this, then be sure to like the video or dislike it. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Because if you didn't like the video, then it'd be great for me to know that. So I, and then I could improve. Although, for some reason, comments don't work, which is annoying. If they do, then comment and say what's wrong with my video, or what's great about my video. And, uh, I can improve or not improve if you give me good feedback. I'm probably going to continue this anyway. Depends what I'm doing in the future. I haven't uploaded in a while. Because I have a second channel. Um, It's just called Bad Omen Gaming. I know I do gaming on this channel, but I've shifted more focus to gaming on my second channel now but I, I did this PC gaming and it actually has a screen recorder so it's decent yeah it's called Bad Omen Gaming if I didn't already say that I can't remember and the the icon is like a esports ninja is, and I have like two subscribers at the moment so it'd be lovely if you could go over there Subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm just filling in my glue. Why am I doing that? I'm putting time into... Actually, putting effort into this thing. I'm not going to paint this in this episode. Because, why, why would I do that? I'm going to take off this little nibbly bit.
this is looking good. What was that? I don't know what that sound was. I don't know what's up with me, I just say ow randomly when, th when nothing has even touched me. There we go. Also, I hope I'm not setting off people's OCD because these aren't level heights, but. I'm just going to say this was built by an orc or something. <laughs> Who really doesn't care. Because somehow, or orcs have psychic abilities, and if they think something will work, it will work. Basically. Like, they don't even have any working machinery. Literally everything is just a box. With bolts. Nuts and bolts in it. And then it works, magically. This one is a bit more glue. Something seems to be working. Um, yeah, there we go. So, this is looking good. The lid is kind of hard to remove and replace using because of the, um, the supports on the side. But, now I think I'll do like a cross um the thing going like that this is almost the perfect size to do that or I could um do a straight line that looks kind of boring Like that. Yeah, that's alright. So that as well. Do some cutting to cut off all these. Oh, it's like a tiny rock. That's nice. I'm trying to think of something to talk about because awkward silence is awkward. Hmm. Gonna need to get a hobby knife soon because I think cutting is really annoying. Um, like shaving the edges off of something is really annoying with clippers or snips or whatever you want to call them that's looking a bit better a bit smoother and yeah that's looking good i think i got a little bit of glue on my thumb yes covered on
guess I'll get to stick in this down. Oh. I'm done with it. Um, I think I'm gonna do another like tips and tricks video. Well, not another one, just one because I have never done one before. But um sneak um this kind of spoiler for the video because I'm probably gonna put this one on there. Um so you can use Balthazar gold with loads of water. Um just splosh it onto whatever you wanna use it on and then just dab it with a dab it with a like a little tissue or a piece of cloth or something. And it makes like a cool stipple rust effect. I used it once, no, a couple times. Yeah, a couple times. It's pretty cool. I mean, I used to just use Agrax Earthshade. It's not really how it works. Although, I mean, that with Agrax Earthshade, it's kind of like a shade of its own, really. Any, like, a, it's like a metallic shade. Which isn't really the look you're going for, but still. Um, trying to pull this bit off. Right, um, that's looking good. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what else I can do. This is way too short. Um, I think I'm going to need to get another spoon. Spruce have really long straight lines and stuff, so quite useful. Because I just got this huge box of spruce, and a lot of the parts are quite useful. Because like the the they're like the old Warhammer Fantasy um, Tomb King Tomb King's Battalion. Those are the sprues that I've been using. And I'm actually about to use another one right now. I have a few of the models. Ah, oh, I actually have a lot of the models. <laughs> so... Right, that's roughly the size I want. Oh. Well, I've got to say, I was not expecting that. There we go. Now we just got to do that. And the reason I made another channel entirely for gaming um, is because, well, it's mainly because um, my, my 
Bad Omen channel, like the one, this one right now, that you're watching the video on, is um, based on my phone. So I'm using my phone to record right now. As you can probably tell from the terrible camera angle. Um, Yeah, so, if I wanted to screen record, like, PC games and stuff, I would have to do it on my PC. I know how to link an account through multiple devices, it's just, it's complicated. Well, it's not, really. Yeah, um, I don't have a lot of terrain, so I make most of it myself, because, like, t terrain is expensive, like the Citadel terrain sets. I mean, the closest I have to terrain, coming from Citadel, is those boxes that I have... The boxes that come in First Strike and No No Fear. Um, yeah, the last thing I really bought for Warhammer was No No Fear, and I bought that ages ago. So, that's going to change since I'm getting some stuff soon. And the thing about terrain is going to change soon, because I'm also going to get um, Mech Boy Workshop. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to get, like, a start collecting orcs, hopefully. Um, Gorkonaut, hopefully. And Mech Boy Workshop, hopefully. Um, and then I can do all that on the channel then. Maybe not like paint it, just showcase it. Is the time I've done? <sighs> Don't have a clue what the time is. Can't check my phone because I'm recording with it. It takes, um, like, a good minute or two to clean up the sprues before you use them. Because you've got to take off all of the sticky bits. Not sticky bits. Um, just the bits. The pokey bits. Whatever you want to call them. nibbly knobbly bits like that one youtuber calls him who i'm not gonna name because i'm not gonna name um who makes really good terrain out of screws i just thought maybe 
they scratch that? Oh no. Oh great. Just trying to scrape off some numbers that I didn't like but and actually they kinda of add to the effect, but and now I've got a bunch of scratches there. Great. There's also a glue dot on the bottom. I don't know why it's there, but there's a glue dot on the bottom. Which doesn't really matter. It's a glue dot. Oh, um, don't want to shine. Yeah, it's just a random glue dot on the bottom. So yeah, it's looking good so far. Just got to get one more thing. One more bit. That is way too short. Oh, that just hit me right in the eye. Didn't go in my eye, but it hit the edge of my eye. It almost went in my eye. That hurt so badly. Some of these sprues are actually really old. Like, um, don't know whether I can get a date on one of them. I just see a bunch of numbers, and that's not a date. I mean, this one's from 2002. I can find older. Um, the lighting isn't very good. But you can roughly see 2002. What, um,. Brook shop or just K shop. It just looks like K shop um two thousand two. But there are older, like I've seen one from like nineteen ninety eight. I don't know. Um some cool skulls, like Advantage with the Tomb King Battalion set um, is you get a bunch of these tiny skulls. Like, you can normally just buy skulls, but it's nice to get them from the Tomb King set. Just because you don't have to buy them then, because you already have them. But then they're probably going to be used for models, unless you have spears. Since there's quite a lot of options for what heads you can use. I actually made one with an arrow sticking through its head. Like someone just shot it. And it's been there for like years, I don't know. Alright, um. Right, maybe this one will be long enough. Yeah, this has got to be long enough. It's not really sad. Oh, there goes that. <sighs> I'm just like collecting junk so I can use it someday. And some Warhammer project that will probably never happen. Like I was collecting pieces for a castle, then I went to build the castle and it looked it looked terrible. So yeah, pretty rubbish in my opinion.
video. So, look at this. Got some great um, stuff. Yeah. I was going to put flowers there, but I think it's a waste of time. So I'll just put one going across the top. Because, why wouldn't I? Well, I think this um, tub's made of plastic, so the poly cement, plastic glue stuff, um, sticks quite, quite nicely. 